There is order to chaos according to scientists. Physicists like to have the world neatly ordered and everything in line, but no matter how much we would like to have things be orderly and precise, they aren't. Scientists found, by studying the outliers in life, that there is a bit of rhyme and reason to them and they can help us predict and understand events around us. What happens when warm and cold air meet? When two atoms collide? When a butterfly flaps its wings in Japan and a hurricane forms in the Atlantic? That's right, chaos. Meteorologist Edward Lawrence became the intellectual father of chaos theory after discovering that the weather is impossible to predict. This has massive implications for not only meteorologists, but also for stock traders, political analysts, and insurance companies. Nonlinear systems are systems with nonlinear behaviors. These are systems that are not proportional to their size or do not behave linearly, i.e., dependent on the size, number, or strength of the influence. This means that small changes in certain inputs lead to large fluctuations in outputs. Behaviors within a system can be completely different depending on the level of scale one observes them at. Stephen Smale, a professor at UC Berkeley, added to the work that Lawrence began. He noted that chaos and instability are not the same things and impact the environment differently. You can't confuse chaos with instability. You can think of chaos as a form of stable disorder, like the periodic table of the elements. It is an orderly yet changing system. But instability, it's not a system at all. May's work with chaos theory led him to the discovery of bifurcations, or points at which a system subtly changes from one state to another. These sudden changes, often discarded as nonsense, laid the groundwork for understanding how we can intervene in an epidemic or forest fire and make them go away, and how we might be able to predict and prevent catastrophic events like disease outbreaks and earthquakes. Mandelbrot was fascinated by this symmetry of scale, the idea that if you zoom in on any spot, you end up with a picture that is, at some level, similar to the original and he soon discovered it in other structures, both abstract mathematical ones and real-world phenomena. Mandelbrot's new fractal geometry accounts for what he calls rough infinity, the rugged, scattered, and fragmented nature of our world. It is the first instance of science uniting with art, which has long pondered extreme aesthetics to evoke feelings of awe or curiosity without actual understanding. Feigenbaum noticed lent extreme credibility when he noticed that all nonlinear systems had something in common. He worked for months, 22 hours long day, comparing all nonlinear systems and equations, and came up with Feigenbaum's constant. It's what proves there is a difference between instability and chaos. There is a universal constant, even in chaos, his theory was mathematically proven in 1979. 